Aaron's room with Rex. Why did you leave the room? There isn't really anything I can do for him right now. Lily. Adriana, I really think... I don't care what you think. I'm going in to be with my husband. room with Rex. Why did you leave the room? There isn't really anything I can do for him right now. Really? Adriana, I really think... I don't care what you think. I'm going in to be with my husband. No! I can't go in there. Why the hell not? The nurses have been weaning him off the bed for a while now, and I want to check his respiratory status to make sure he's been tolerating it well. Then don't talk. I need to know what happened. I, I remember me being on a mountain. Brody hit a gun. Oh my gosh, Shane. Our son is fine. All thanks to you. Me? You jumped in the way of the bullet. How, how long have I been out of it? Too long. I'm gonna go tell Adriana how well you're doing. No, no, not yet. Adriana, I mean, you know, she's still your wife, and she's out there really worrying. <sighs> can you just, can you buy us a little more time, please? Okay, I'll do my best. This, this isn't the hospital. Adriana took you to her mother's house, so I couldn't see you. She wouldn't let me come anywhere near you. And you? Snuck in. And if she finds me in here, she's gonna have me tossed in jail. Then God only knows when I'll see you again. How's Rex? What's going on in there? I am happy to report a miracle. A miracle? He regained consciousness. He is conscious, yes. Oh my god, I have to go see him. Right no. Why? What now? Adriana came back to town and just took over so I couldn't see you. You're all in white, like an angel. Your mom and Marcy dressed me up so I could sneak in. And Adriana is going to flip her lid and I'm going to be booted out of here any minute. So let's not waste time talking about her, okay? Brody, why? He just snapped. He's in custody now, VA hospital. I was so scared, Paul. Thought you were gonna leave us. I remember. It was a dream. What did you remember? A game. I had to play this game. I had to 
win or I'd never come back. Well, you must have won, huh? Well, I was highly motivated. Oh, yeah? I had to come back to you. I had to be Shane Marasco's dad. Well, you are his dad. And he knows it now. Shane, he knows? You saved his life. I had to tell him. How? Uh, did he take it? It's gonna be alright. You're back now. Okay. Everything is gonna be alright. It's very difficult to predict how long the recovery period will be, but because Rex was so young... And okay, because... alright, that's enough, that's enough. Look, Michael. I am so grateful to you for all that you have done, but if I don't see my husband right this second, I'm going to put my fist through the wall. I have to see his miracle for myself. Okay, yes, and you will. No, but I you am just... not going to wait another second. It's over. My life... It was over. But I swore that I could be the father Shane needs. The man you deserve. I wouldn't leave you. Rex. I knew that you would bring me back. And you did. I came back for you, Marasco. It was for you. I knew you were up to something when I... I opened my eyes once. You did. I thought that I'd see you. I wanted you. Oh, I'm here now. And we're about out of time. Adriana is going to be in here any second. She can't stop us. No one can. Hey, Rex, please now you be quiet and listen to me, okay? I loved you ten years ago. I love you now. And I will love you forever. Ten years ago, I was a damn fool. It's not too late. But forever. No. It can't be. You're the one, Marasco. Love of my life. You can't throw me out. Not now. Rex needs me. Shut up. Adriana. You too. I have something to say, and you're both going to listen. I made a mess of us, Rex. I didn't trust us enough. So, in my own unique way, I screwed it all up. I didn't want a marriage with you. A future. But not believe this. I'm not a complete fool. I know it could never work if you want something else. Someone else. And because I love you so much, and I always will, I want to give you what you need. I won't stand in your way anymore. I don't like you, Gigi. I guess I've made that pretty obvious. And I'll always believe that Rex and I would have stayed together if you hadn't come along. But you did something I couldn't. You brought Rex back to us. I said I would do anything if only Rex would be alright, and I meant it. So now I have to put my money where my mouth is. I have to say goodbye to him.